Now I have successfully created my window treatment with the three swag sections, where I started off with only two. I'm ready to move it onto the window, but first I want to group it so that it behaves like a single object, because right now it has been ungrouped. So to group it, I can lasso all the pieces there. And then I can click on my group icon, which is up here. There's another technique, though, for grabbing all the pieces. I'm going to do the click away, meaning I'm going to click anywhere on the blank canvas so that nothing is highlighted. Then I can keep my finger depressed on the shift key and manually come in and highlight all the objects. It's faster to lasso, but it's important to know this technique as well, keeping your finger depressed on the shift key, and that can highlight those objects. Then click on the group icon. Great, now my window treatment is a single object. Now I'm ready to move the treatment onto the window, but first I'm going to zoom out so I can see more of the window. I'll click on the magnifying glass with the minus sign. There. Now I can take my window treatment and I can start resizing it for this window. Now we do have a detailed tutorial on our website that shows you how to resize an object and you can use your mouse by pulling on these handles or these squares. In this case I want to resize proportionally and to do so keep your finger depressed on the shift key and pull on a corner handle. That will resize the window treatment larger or smaller, but it will maintain its aspect ratio or its proportions. There. And then you can print your design or you can create a high quality JPEG of your design so that you can email it to a client. To create that JPEG use the file export command and we do have a tutorial a detailed tutorial on that as well on our website. Now when you do go to print or create a JPEG and I'm going to zoom out so you can see more of the canvas, whatever is in the rectangular box that you see on your canvas will be printed or produced on that JPEG. And we have more information on the whole canvas area in a detailed tutorial on our website. Now I want to show you one more thing in this lesson and in this case I'm going to scroll down into my design library because I want to pull up a shade and I want to add a Roman shade. So let me just pull this one up and I'm going to drag it onto the canvas. Again, if you're looking at designs, make sure to look at the gold buttons because when you click on them, you will see other variations. And in this case, we have a shorter shade and a longer shade, plus the shades in perspective view. I want to move that shade onto the window and it's going to be on top of the window treatment and I can go ahead and fix that but let me zoom in so I can get a better view. I want to color that shade so in order to do that make sure the shade is highlighted and then click on the properties tab along the right side of your screen and I like to have that properties tab open when I'm working on a design. So go ahead and click on that middle icon. It'll either be a push pin or a dot. There. And you can see that you have both the properties window open at the top, but also your layers window is open at the bottom. 
and if you look to the right of the properties window you'll see that scroll bar and you'll be able to see other options that are available in the properties window. Now again we have detailed tutorials on our website regarding adding color so I do encourage you to look at those detailed tutorials. In this case I want to add a little bit of beige to that shade so I'm going to click on that eyedropper and then I'm going to touch the fabric and I'm going to select this beige right here, this beige or tan. There! You see the shade picked up that tan out of the fabric. Now obviously I don't want to leave the shade on top of the window treatment. I want to put it in its normal position and to do so I can use one of the order commands here up in the top toolbar. I can send that shade to the back in which case it's going to go behind the wall and behind the window and then I'd have to order it forward in front of the um, window and wall. So let me do that. I'm going to send it to the back there. Now you don't see it be because it's behind the wall but I can move it forward and now it's behind the window. I'll click on it again, this icon bring forward. There! It is now positioned in the proper place. It's behind the window treatment but I'm going to position it to the front again. And now I will show you another option. Rather than sending it to the back, you can send it backward, one component at a time. So I'll click. Oh, there you go. It went right behind the treatment. Now we do have a detailed tutorial on our website that covers those order commands. So I do encourage you to look at those tutorials. Now I wanted to point out two last things. One is sometimes a user will accidentally close one of these windows. So for example they might accidentally close the properties window. No problem. To get it back just click on windows at the top, show hide windows, and turn your properties window back on. There. And just a reminder that when you save your portfolio and you come in and open it again, remember to open up the layers window and make sure that if you want to continue designing that you highlight the second layer. Your first layer is your base foundation or in this case your elevation wall and you want to design on the second layer. So make sure that you highlight that second layer when you resume designing.